in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you oh graces are going to be you and of his divine nature to your home. praise Thank the lord for watching stay blessed now there are seven Gospels that the Bible, please listen, we'll get back to our text for tonight, but there are seven Gospels that are communicated in Scripture. And the very first of them in order of priority is called the Gospel of Salvation. Please say after me, the Gospel of Salvation. The Gospel of Salvation is a revelation of the Father's love. John chapter 3 and verse 6, 16. For God so loved the world, a revelation of the Father's love, demonstrated by and through the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Please understand the gospel of salvation. The Father, God, so loved the world. That was his motivation. His motivation was love his motivation was not power. His motivation was love. His motivation was not influence. His motivation was love, not self. So for God so loved the world. And he proved that love by giving Jesus his son. Are we together? You will be surprised that many believers don't even know about this story. That God so loved the world. And he gave Jesus. Why did he give Jesus? Not just so that we will be saved. Jesus came as many things. Number one, he came as an example of what it means to be led by the Spirit. Because that's the condition to be a son of God. So he came as a sample. Until then, no one had demonstrated sonship to the degree that satisfied the heart of the Father. Are we together now? So Jesus came to show us the way to please the father jesus came as a substitute he eventually will be a substitute in what we call his passion the journey that started from the upper room where the communion was that's not what i'm teaching tonight it's just important for us to have this background that the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus did not start on the cross he started on the upper room, then the upper room, and then from there to Gethsemane, and then the cross, and then the grave, and then the throne, not the sky. Remember the song says, from the grave to the sky. No. From the grave right to the throne. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand, not hang around the air until I know what to do with you. The Lord there was a real coronation service that happened. Are we together? But the story is not really where, it's not the point of advantage. It is the opportunity for man to understand that message and respond to it. That whosoever, beautiful statement, whosoever. There are some things in scripture that are not for whosoever. They are for, there are specific conditions. But when it has to do with the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ, he says, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have zoe. Not just life everlasting, not just eternal life, but the life of God. Are we together? So that, that's the privilege um, that we stand to enjoy. And then in addition to that, we are now open. Please listen. In addition to just receiving the life of God, we have become one with him by the spirit. These are the basic doctrines of the Christian faith. You are not a Christian if you don't understand this. doesn't matter if you can raise the dead. If you do not understand these foundational truths, these are the pillars of the Christian faith. 
Praise the Lord. Then we now begin to explore in detail the advantage. Listen to my communication. The advantage of Jesus in our life. There is, there is a real advantage. And one of it, Paul was teaching the church in Ephesus. Chapter 1, please give it to us again, media. Verse 3. He now says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ who died and now had become Lord. That's why you see the word Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord, the Master, the exalted Jesus Christ. Not just the one that walked upon the earth. The one who is now exalted. Who had blessed us. Are you seeing? He didn't just die. So the Father through Jesus had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. But the nature of this blessing is that they are spiritual in context. They reside in the heavenly places. And that you will only access them through Christ. Meaning, if you do not encounter Jesus Christ, you cannot have these blessings. There are many believers who do not love Jesus and are not interested in him, but will continue to insist that they must partake of everything that has to do with the faith life. It starts with Jesus. It starts with Jesus. The Alpha, remember our teaching? The Omega. Alpha, Omega. Starts with Jesus. So let's go to First Peter now. Chapter 2. Celebrating Easter is useless until we are able to understand the advantage of that which Christ has done and to engage with understanding the systems that will bring us into that experience. So we continue to press by faith as faithful students in the school of the Spirit, trusting the Holy Spirit to guide us day by day and hour by hour to a point of comprehension where we will know God desires that we know and that we walk in the experience of that knowledge. First Peter chapter 2 from verse 9. Let's read together. One to read. But ye are a chosen generation, uh -huh. a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. Stop. Peter, the apostle, is teaching here and he's reminding us that we are not only believers. Are we together? That the scope of the sacrifice of Christ does not just make us believers, but that in addition to believers, we are all these. A chosen generation. Not just a generation, a select generation. Number two, he calls us a royal priesthood. A mix of kings and priests. That we are both kings and we are priests. Remember Revelation 5 and verse 10 tells us also on this. And then it says we are a holy nation. A nation of people. And then it says we are a peculiar people. Then he says that we should show forth the praises of him who has called us. Who is the him? Jesus. Jesus who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let's, let's stay here a bit. You need to understand this. Don't trivialize this because your victory depends on it. To show forth the praises of a man who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light many of us understand what we are being called out of but we do not understand what we are being called into we have taken our time to study what we are being called out of we know we understand the length and the breadth of what he has called us out of but the bible never said that he called us out and left us he called us out of a dimension and a realm then into another one marvelous light marvelous light marvelous light this statement marvelous light is what qualifies us to be called a chosen generation please listen a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that means 
take away the experience of marvelous light we cannot be all of this the presence and our access to this mystery that the bible calls marvelous light are we together now you need to understand that this marvelous light we are talking about um light in scripture is symbolic of illumination knowledge truth are we together so when the bible says marvelous light here it means a body of knowledge finite spiritual knowledge please you have to understand this it doesn't just mean any spiritual knowledge that means there is an exact combination of spiritual knowledge that is equal to marvelous light just because you gather any spiritual truth it doesn't equal marvelous light it may equal light but there is a spiritual combination hidden here that if you possess that body of knowledge and you apply it you must reflect these possibilities a manifestation of a life that is a chosen generation a peculiar personality are we together they will see the king priest dimension working in its apex marvelous light that's a secret there marvelous light my accessing the light you know when i started out with the lord i thought that every truth of the kingdom was equally valuable and it seemed like a sin to believe that some truth you know people say truth is truth that is true in terms of the origin and the purity of it but in terms of its stratification and its assignment no sir no sir there are many lights but there are two great lights it is possible to have 10 of certain information but you can have one of another kind of information and just that one that you have will surpass by far the effect that will be in your life by accessing these things so please you need to understand that you are not just growing because you are encountering truth you have to grow when you encounter certain kinds of truth designed to produce an effect in your spiritual life all scripture the bible says is written by the holy ghost is profitable it says holy men wrote as they were moved by the spirit is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction in righteousness and so on and so forth so any dimension of truth you find in scripture will have some value to your life but as far as being exceptional remember you are mandated to show the praises of god that means that the gospel rendition of this is let your light so shine before men that they might see your good deeds and glorify notice how god continues to desire the praise and the glorification that not just comes from singing comes from a standard of excellence and a standard of life that the saints emit and the secret to that possibility is marvelous light there are many believers who want to be great there are many believers who want to be anointed there are many believers who want to go far there are many believers who want to have influence and we continue to guess around spiritual principles that we think may lead us to these truths and here and there there are books that are written across and they seem to supply some level of value but let me tell you this one of the greatest blessings that can happen to a believer is that you find a man or you find a platform that handpicks the spiritual principles that are allocated for your victory and feeds you with it like you have a plethora you have a buffet of spiritual principles and not all of them believe me now please don't misunderstand what i'm saying not all of them have equal value as far as your relevance and your producing glory is concerned no there are certain truths that if you don't know regardless of the ones you know it will still look like jesus is not lord over your life just because you cooked well and you didn't put salt or something it may look well but it would taste not the way it's supposed to taste are we together now yes 
there are many believers who continue to pride in the fact that they are accumulating spiritual information and many of the information that that is being accumulated number one it's not been vetted number two it's not arranged systematically do you know that truth does not just bless the arrangement the order of truth matters like a spiritual house look at this room for instance imagine that we pick the zinc and we put it immediately after the foundation you don't have a house the order and the arrangement matters it is in the arrangement that the house is produced just because you have the materials the spiritual combination of these truths to the end that it produces this is where many believers default so here and there we can say i know this i know this i know that but at what point in your spiritual journey do you need this are we together so when truths are dispensed we are not just giving you head knowledge we are also arranging it and rearranging it so that it can now be useful and productive to our lives if you're with me please say amen, amen. there are people today who have been around church for a long time but they may never be anointed because of how they were taught never never they may never walk in the anointing because of how they were taught now the same thing you know about the anointing they have been taught but the arrangement will not produce the anointing in their lives there are believers for instance the the moment they get born again the next subject they hear is prosperity and money that kind of arrangement is not only bad it's dangerous now that is truth but because of the way it was arranged you cannot call it marvelous light it will it will create a lopsided christian a lost driven christian are we together the language of sacrifice the language of service will not be in the dictionary of that kind of christian the entire scope of his understanding about god is someone who just blessed us to enjoy and that's not a good philosophy because when you sell that idea to that believer eventually when things do not change and things do not square up he will leave god in a heartbeat because you have told him that the primary purpose for his encounter with christ is just for him to enjoy now that does not mean that this dimension is not in the dealings of god but it's too early there are things that the believer needs to know and appreciate before the subject of prosperity comes in there are many believers today who keep shouting oh god why me is because they have not been taught they have been taught that when believers face challenges it is proof that they don't have faith you see that's why i'm saying it's important you are taught so when they lose loved ones or something tragic happens like the dear lady who said arm robbers came to their house i hope you know that's not a muslim that's a christian many christians today cannot explain when something very sad and tragic happens to people who love god they search around and the arrangement of the doctrine that was given them does not allow an explanation to certain situations i don't know if you are following me tonight so when the man of god comes now there is a dead body lying there and they say what happened my father served the lord he even died serving jesus and then the man of God is, is in confusion right now because all you have taught them and the way you have taught them is that whatsoever happens that is negative, listen very carefully, in it, God cannot be praised and you have to be blamed and all of that and all of that and he cannot find glory in anything that is negative. That believer is confused. I love God. My father loved God my mother loved god but he still died but there is something you can teach that believer that like job you can teach him that the true victory of a believer sometimes is not in what you have gotten but in your love for god even when you don't get some things that they are all called faith that faith is not always about things coming it takes faith to lose things too by faith abel offered it's not always about coming 
our concept of faith is that things must come but i'm teaching you that there is a dimension of faith where you can lay things down it says some women received their death to life it says others died and didn't come back to life and all of them he joined it and called it faith are you seeing that it matters how you are educated spiritually so every time you engage your faith it is always for things to come just because the bible says faith cometh. no are we together yes so believers have a lot of gaps in their lives and they cannot give god praise they don't know how to joy and sorrow in persecution when a believer is persecuted he does not understand but in scripture it says count it all joy my brethren are we not bible students again when you face diverse tribulations it says knowing this that the trying of your faith so what is being tried your faith listen to what i'm telling you it's very very important you are a christian and your car breaks down and now someone stands and says where is your faith your car just broke down now please i'm a man of faith and they make you feel guilty you stand in front of that car you are sad you are angry you are even ashamed to call a mechanic you would have called a mechanic in 30 minutes to fix that car but because your ego has been provoked you can stroll to the back of that car and lie down there and say god prove yourself you see because you have been taught that if that does not happen is is a sign that you you are not growing spiritually our indices to measure spiritual growth is very poor and very terrible i don't know if someone is getting blessed tonight just follow what i'm teaching you there are many people who have become poor in church today because they continue to press to realms they have not gotten to as a proof that they are people of faith because something about our teaching has jumped the law of process and so we teach people that if it is god yes jehovah sharp sharp is alive but let me tell you the way the tree grows i mean the dealings of god in our environment should teach us how god builds when a woman carries seed no matter how anointed she is including mary jesus grew slowly in mary's stomach not even his being the word suddenly made him an adult and he said mary i want to come out he grew slowly so it is spiritual to subscribe to the law of process so you find people under pressure i must buy this car this year i must buy this cloth this year i must go around 10 countries this year and sometimes we lost driven men of god help to endorse this kind of futile agenda oh let me pray for you if you don't go around 10 countries this year you are not a christian if you don't do this you are not a christian and we propose please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that god cannot make for these things remember it's our year of extraordinary fruitfulness it is true that there are truths when you know they will set you free there are things when you don't know you will remain in bondage forever hallelujah so if you see a brother now with his 200 naira trouser his 1000 naira shirt you know if god tells you that brother is a man of faith you will not believe because our definition of faith is that the results must be there to show and it's very dangerous because there are people who are doing well but they leave their well doing and compromise on that understanding because they are searching for results there are many wealthy people who don't have faith but simply because of the abundance of physical results you may think that that already means a lot of faith let me tell you this it matters how you are taught the ways of God it matters the beauty of your life will not come just because you have truth it must be arranged to be profitable when all else fell for job he had a solid foundation 
you know many times when we read the book of job we don't understand the entire scope do you know what it meant for job to be there and those who once depended on him will pass and look at him and say my god look at this man look at your wife look at your useless life dogs are licking your source didn't i teach you that when god is silent he's speaking and that you must learn what he's saying when he's silent god why are you not talking and god replies and says understand what i'm saying when i'm silent it is a voice hallelujah let me tell you this i truly live a very peaceful life and the peace that is in my life has come from knowledge there are things that i have learned and i have known about god that has culminated to stability and rest this sabbath you see you don't enter into it just haphazardly there is a body of knowledge that will bring you into your sabbath and you can rest you can lie down in a boat that is boisterous and like jesus you are sleeping you can stand before goliath and know goliath is going down what do you know about this jesus that we celebrate and his word that can stand the times and the days that are coming then let's flip to the positive side what do you know about the word that is responsible for results in your life if i ask you to stand up today at random and i say tell me the principles you know in the dealings of god with men that provide for results what will you say i wish i had the time would have run a mic just on three or four people just at random and i say are you a believer yes born again yes filled with the holy spirit yes you can even pray in tongues let's see if you want to and then i'll now ask you i'll say now with with yours with your knowledge become a lecturer become a mentor in five minutes and coach us on the pathway to victory how do you guide a person who needs restoration in his life what do you know about god what is the system in the kingdom that is allocated for that outcome or are you just going to guess and hope and say well just pray i know prayer answers prayer is the key prayer is the master key jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer he was in the temple he was not praying he was studying there were many times he did other things prayer is a key not the key a key there are many other keys and if all you have is one key you will only enter one part of a house and sometimes that even that house that part you enter may not be where you are looking for if you have the key to a toilet and you are hungry you are in trouble you have a key but there is nothing in a toilet that will solve your current predicament are we together and sometimes the way you open the door to a kitchen is not the way you you can just turn it once and the door of a toilet is open but sometimes the door of a kitchen may require opening up and down then you push systematically if you don't know it there is bread in the kitchen so god will tell you there is bread in the kitchen but you are dying of hunger because of understanding you know if we spend half the time my brothers and my sisters that we use shadow boxing and guessing around and become like mary martha martha you are worried and upset about many things but one thing is needful to just stay and say lord show me this thing show me this thing it may take time but guide me spirit of the living god you are here to guide me any spiritual knowledge that does not translate eventually into your victory are we together now and the advancement of god's kingdom and your progressive knowledge of god is completely useless completely useless just because it is spiritual in context does not mean it's useful to your life and your destiny 
Hallelujah. So what do you know and what do you not know? The entire prayer and fasting will be a time of dishing out spiritual truths. Let me tell you, there is no hope for a man who rejects the understanding of the ways of God. That is a truly hopeless man. There's nothing you can do. Even deliverance, I've taught you, there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is preached. It is to preach deliverance to the captives. So there is a dimension of deliverance that is preached. It is not the demon that needs to hear that message. It is you. There is a particular part of deliverance that is for the demon. It's not for you. So the demon hears the conversation and he's supposed to respond to it. But there is a dimension that is for you. You are the one who should hear. God calls both deliverance. So if it's only the demon that is hearing, you are still in trouble. Because both the demon and you should hear something eventually. To preach deliverance to the captives. So if I cast out that devil and it leaves you, and you remain like that, I guarantee you, my brothers and my sisters, you will never be sustainably free. And it takes a long time to build conviction. Don't think one conference is enough to impart conviction. It took a long time for the build up of the error to stay in our minds. It takes a long time. I now understand why great men like Kenneth E. Hagin and all these fathers of faith will stay around certain subjects for many years. They were creating convictions. Notice that some of the churches that we admire the widespread spiritual understanding is because of a level of focus and intentional teaching of certain dimensions of the kingdom again and again so that the average member can come into that comprehension and come into that understanding we continue to make ourselves victims i'm sharing my heart with you because as i look around you know people just as powerful as you know people like uh, Ima, Ima came to share that he went to stand near my wall to touch that there's a dimension of god's grace there but you see the truth is that a day will come you will be somewhere where you you it has to be your personal knowledge of god nigerian believers are very lazy we like to connect with things that quickly bring acceleration it's a system of god's mercy to help you receive results while you learn because if God waits for the result to reflect your current knowledge, you may never grow. So he gives you an opportunity to tap into possibilities that are higher than your level of transformation. So that while you are enjoying the result, you can take time to grow. Because he knows that growth takes time. So just because you are receiving results by partnering with a grace, it is not a license to remain spiritually down. You have to rise so that one day it is your own grace and walk with God that will help another believer. Imagine if Jacob stopped at the God of Isaac and the God of Abraham. Today we will be robbed of a dimension that his knowledge of God has provided for us. Are we together? Spiritual knowledge that we are a peculiar people because of this the one pursuit that you must make and i'll talk a little about that shortly this year is to cry for light light illumination light light open up my eyes light my lamp god is not a herbalist He's a miracle worker, but he's not a herbalist. He will require partnership from you through understanding for you to get any results. Whatever it is that God has done in and through this ministry that is worth giving him glory for came by partnership through understanding. Faith cannot be faith until it is sponsored by understanding. The foundation of faith is understanding. You have to know the systems that are allocated for the results that you desire. Then when you are convicted about it, then you act in accordance to what has been told you. And then you will receive results. Very, very important. 
Luke chapter 19 from verse 41. One of the two reasons why Jesus wept. Jesus did not just weep in the grave of Lazarus alone. But Jesus wept. And when he was come near, he beheld the city. Now he sees beholding a city and did what? Wept over it. Now, if Jesus is crying over something, you need to find out what he's crying about. Next verse. Saying, this is why he's weeping. If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto your peace. This is why Jesus is crying. He says, but now they are hid from your eyes. Imagine Jesus looking at you and crying and saying, I wish you knew this. I wish you knew this. I wish you knew this. Have you, I don't know if this has happened to you, that you misplaced something or maybe you are looking for your handkerchief and it's on your shoulder and you are going from room to room in anger and waiting to see someone with it so that you will injure the person. Suddenly you will find out that it was that person was you. The things that pertain unto your peace. The things that pertain unto your peace. So there are things that pertain unto peace. There is a science to your peace. There are equations that make for your peace. Your peace there talks of your prosperity, your greatness, your health, your longevity, your well-being. The things, not the thing, the things is a body of knowledge that pertain unto your peace. He says, but now they are hid from you. There is what you can know and your church will never remain small. It doesn't matter the darkness in the land. It is your knowledge. There is what you know that you will never beg forever till Jesus comes. It is true. Sponsored by knowledge. There is what you will know that will command favor and the help of men to your life forever. There is what you know that it doesn't matter the negative things that happen to you. There is a system to turn it around for your good. Jesus wept over that city. Let me show you a scripture. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Please read it with me. The people that walked in darkness have seen a not just a light and then it says they that dwell in the land of the sh how can a man dwell here is that an a habitable place he said but there are people that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them what happened the light shined notice that the solution to this category of people is light those who walked in darkness a version says they that sat in darkness sat in darkness sitting is a state of rest that means you are not even aware that it is darkness until the light comes he says they have seen a great light and then he says that those that have dwelt in the land of the shadow of death upon them light has shined that means every time there is darkness in your life and you cry god answers you the official way of answering prayer is sending light that's how god sends light his anointing is in his light if you reject his light you will never never access the power that helps people please understand what i'm teaching apostle why are things going on like this in my life the answer will be light there is a dimension of god's light why will my finances not rise there is a dimension of light why am i not excelling in life and ministry there is a dimension of light so when god wants to help a man let me show you how he helps a man his light comes come my dear and he brings you out he brings you out watch this He's bringing you out of darkness. The coming of his light is your deliverance. No matter what happens to you, if light has not come, you are not free. 
if you like go out once there is no light you are not free spiritual illumination as God's system of deliverance he said I am the light of the world then later on he says ye are the light of the world that means we help the world not just by building structures but by introducing an understanding listen the assignment of believers is not just to build physical structures remember the kingdom is a spiritual kingdom the first you help men not just by doing physical things please listen to me if i give this guy one thousand naira money is physical and anything physical is finite you help this brother by introducing light are we together now when the light of god comes it is able to translate this gentleman and activate possibility in it, possibilities in his life. So you knew him to be someone who is standing here. Remember years ago, this gentleman was holding his admission letter. And today, he's a doctor. Authorized to be able to handle whatever situation within the level of his knowledge. Light. There are some dimensions that even as a doctor, he cannot handle now. If another kind of light comes, it will move him forward. We move forward by light. We move forward, my brothers and my sisters, by light. We increase by light. So when Satan wants to destroy you, what do you think is the easiest way to destroy you? To find a way to do something to the light or to do something to you. The easier one is to do something to you so that you can make the word of God of non-effect are we together now this is what has happened to so many people there are people who will hear the things I'm saying now and think that oh this is it really important but look at the situations in their lives do you know let me tell you my brothers and my sisters in as much as we continue to pray here at the miracle service and I will keep doing it all my life and with all my heart but let me tell you the sustainable way of victory is to command your result by knowledge when you obtain a result that was not sponsored by knowledge you will fear the result because you know it will not last are we together now yes so this gentleman is here at the mercy of light this dear lady is here at the mercy of light my brother is here at the mercy of light oh god change my life and God says then open up your heart to light and if Satan wants to confuse you and sees that you have made up your mind to get light he can bring not the light you need he will allow light come but it's not the light that will solve your problem so you can get a book and be reading and learning mm, wow you are nodding your head but you still remain there and you find out that the light you are receiving now is not needed for the situation illumination they that walked in darkness have seen a great light a great light let's look at a parable that Jesus gave uh, and then we'll come back here Jesus gave a very interesting parable Luke chapter 15 please Luke chapter 15 from verse 8 to 10 notice if you read the entire Luke chapter um, 15, it, it, it reveals the kingdom as something that was missing and found. Missing and found. Three parables were in that Luke chapter 15, including that of the prodigal son. So the, and it, it now gives the kingdom a similitude of something that was lost and then found. Something that was lost and then found. This is one of the parables. It says, either what woman having ten pieces of silver and if she lose one doth not what look at how the woman is approaching a problem now once upon a time she had ten pieces of silver and then one got missing it's a representation of a dimension and look at how the woman recovers she does not just go around carelessly she knows it is somewhere but she needs to be specific she lights a candle and then she will use the light of the candle to do what to start sweeping the house and seek diligently by light till she finds it and seek diligently sweeping is not alone it's not enough you must seek diligently 
passionately lord there has to be a way you open scripture and you are crying out your heart and then light comes there's one thing i know about light when your light comes you must arise it is true it is true if you remain in a position the solution is not the strength of satan my brothers and my sisters the solution is light or enough light she has 10 pieces of silver she loses one and what happens she lights a candle neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel this woman is going around i must find the coin i thought she has nine more the same way if she doesn't master how to find coins the ninth one will lose the eighth one are you seeing the deception i like this woman whoever she is is a wise woman you don't wait till you have two coins left before you will not have the motivation to find it the moment one was missing she said i won't give life a chance whatever made the first one fall will make the second one fall until i master how to find it now the woman found what was missing let me tell you how satan deceives us one area of your life may not be doing well and many areas are doing well and you say it doesn't matter you won't give it the diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter i won't give it diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter are you seeing usually the areas you are focusing on satan will not touch it first he will touch the areas you will run to when he touches that one when he's done then eventually something happens and you turn and find out that eight or nine areas are gone but there are people when one thing is not going on well your bible lord there has to be light there must be a way there must be a way revelations don't just come when you pray revelation comes when you stay you stay prayer alone does not bring you see there are many people let me tell you this any successful person will tell you there is a place of diligence and there is the labor dimension of god's word i wish that anything you are looking for you will just find overnight no there are times that your time will be years will be months will be many years but no matter how long it is stay because when you find it the world will know you have found it it is costly to assume you have found it be sure early that you have found it because you may assume you have found it until life needs it and you cannot bring it out you have not found it they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh are we together now this is a very powerful scripture and i want you to learn that when people are sitting in darkness the solution the solution you know i travel quite extensively to go and minister many times when i get to a place with within the level of the grace that god has given me i can know what the problem is within minutes i know you can look at a man and know what his problem is and know what the solution is and if that person is not willing to take the solution then your heart breaks there are people today who come for counseling some of you join the queue for counseling you are standing for counseling and you are trying to tell me what is wrong apostle a b c and like a doctor i already know this is a problem and usually i can tell them okay get one two three koinonia messages and listen to and i just touch their head and you see the anger the annoyance sometimes you know they are expecting to uh, touch me i didn't fall i didn't do anything i will tell the person get this and that message usually they will start moving as if they are going there and just turn and walk away now please don't feel bad you have tied your hands by yourself the system works with light the system works with light the system works with light nobody wins by mistake the system works with light so if you really want to be victorious your assignment is to be a student of light and this is what we are going to be doing 
the seven days is not just a time to pray and fast blindly is this not the kind of fast i have commanded it says then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth my brothers and my sisters we arise by light i look at my life today and i look at many things i did not know and sometimes tears just come out from my eyes imagine that i knew it and i wonder how many other things i do not know what do you know about life what do you know about men what do you know about demons what do you know about god what do you know about time what do you know about wealth what do you know about greatness what do you know about failure what do you know about darkness what do you know about light what do you know about defeat what do you know about victory what do you know about jesus what do you know about satan that's where the victory lies so a believer can be mentored to become victorious not to become a church member meaning i can pick these three people right now and say look come and i will teach you the ways of god micah chapter 4 zechariah chapter 4 that's the assignment that the mountain of the lord's house give us micah chapter 4 please that it shall come to pass in the last days listen to the assignment of the church the last days that the mountain of the lord's house micah chapter 4 shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall do what flow to it next verse it says and many nations how many nations many shall come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us his ways they are there in search of light isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 it says arise shine for your light has come arise shine because you now know arise shine because you are no longer in ignorance arise shine because the power and the fear that comes with ignorance is broken amplified says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light arise from the depression the prostration which circumstances have kept you they kept you through darkness they didn't press you physically they did something to your spiritual understanding and kept you there 80 percent of jesus's ministry was teaching notice how he made apostles he did not just make apostles there were times early in the morning they would go to pray but for three days all of you come up the mountain and he will continue to teach he didn't finish the curriculum when he resurrected he would have said everybody this is jesus back to life he said students quickly let's go we have my time i need to sit with you we have 40 more days to round up the course and for 40 days he kept teaching them teaching them on the matters of the kingdom when he was done he said tarry just 10 days you are good to go till today he has not seen a need to come back and say i failed when you give men light you really empower them when you give people money you give them donation when you give people clothes you give them charity but when you give them light you have really helped them giving is not only giving money money is not the only thing to be given the most useful thing to be given and that's how you know whether you'll be great or not if the things you like getting are physical you will not go far you must get the things that bring the physical things light show me someone who is in complete ignorance but will sit down and cry to the god of heaven and say lord i confess my ignorance show me show me open my eyes he said open down my eyes that i may behold that means that this kind of seeing god must open your eyes education cannot give you this kind of light 
it can prepare your mind to receive but only when god takes off the veil you won't know there is a veil till he takes it off and then you say my god this is it this is it i found my way i found my way as haphazard as life is the knowledge of the ways of god you begin to connect the dots and see that i thought it was haphazard but there is a rhythm that synergizes life ask any great man ask anybody who god is using mightily they will be lying if they don't if they tell you they don't know what they are doing it's not true it's not true my passion let me tell you my passion is to continue to dispense this light just letting you know that light will lift you is not enough i must bring the specific light what is the light this is your book what is responsible for bringing this book back to your hands number one is it possible yes you see that but what is the system design remember this is the book he's looking for but he doesn't know how to pick this book between you and this book there is a mystery there is a light that must connect you you can stand and see the book forever and not get it and sometimes you don't just need to listen to god alone you need to listen to the person who has picked his own how dare you trivialize the person that picked his own oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you i will seek you in the morning i will learn to walk in your ways and step by step you lead me and i will follow you listen let me tell you what is happening to you in koinonia keys are given to you get me a bunch of keys if you can find any you will get to a point my brothers and my sisters listen you will get to a point in your life and your destiny when you will know that life is many rooms and all those rooms need keys look at this this is a bunch of keys this is what god is giving you You've gotten three already, but he said that you need to open 70 rooms to succeed. So you now have three. You need to catch up. But you keep dangling three and say, I have three. And he says, those three rooms are just toilets. I need to give you keys. Listen, these are the ones that will reign in life. They who have paid the price. Lord, my child can be a bad boy so let me know in advance what is the key to restore a defaulting child it may be too late you don't get the key when you have the child you get the key before you have the child i don't pray that any arm robber will steal your car but what if he steals the car what is the key so god continues look at what you are doing he gives you a candle and he says keep sweeping and you are sweeping from one meeting to the other you are sweeping sometimes you say god i'm tired i've been sweeping for 10 years and i've just found four keys god will say a time will come you will find a bunch in one place you will not always pick one by one there are times when you, you will see many keys in one place let me tell you i submit to you this is what i've spent my life doing I'm like a spiritual archaeologist 
show me the keys what are the keys to the anointing i know i need this for ministry i need this for life and he says hold the light and keep sweeping you sweep from genesis to revelation you start again Genesis to Revelation, you start again. Genesis to Revelation, you start again. Genesis to Revelation, you start again. You don't sweep once. Listen. So while you are sweeping, you will find a key. Sometimes you will not know that what you are looking at is a key till you come back to sweep again. All the keys don't look the same. Listen. Listen to me. Please listen to what I'm teaching you. It is not it is not every key that appears as a key. You will look at some keys and they don't look like it and the spirit of God will say pick it. When you see the kind of door that this key will open, you will know. Let me tell you how you prepare for life. You hold your keys. And then when you begin to walk, you will see people who went ahead of you standing before certain doors. You, you thought they went ahead but there they are marking time they only open two doors out of 50 and they are standing and god says now remember the key i gave you in 95 bring it out open this door remember the key i gave you in 2001 during your retreat i gave you a small key now this is the small door that the key opens Buster by step you lead me and I will fall of my days first it has been given unto you to know to know the keys of the kingdom this is what we do business with in this kingdom the keys our fathers who are gone ahead of us are called fathers because of this when you check them some of them the keys they have they can't hold it again they have looked for bags and when they see you sometimes they look at you and say i know this door i saw it before when i was 27 i saw the door let me tell you how the key looks like so when you read their books and listen to them, that's what you are doing. They are helping to show you the key. Let me tell you how Satan cheats you. Sometimes he makes you think the keys you hold are not keys and you throw them. And the thing is when you throw them, if you are starting with God, you will go back. You have to remember where you threw them and start sweeping again. Koinonia, hear me. You may not have the car yet but you have the key you may not have the house yet but you have the key man of god hear me you have not started the church yet but these are your members hidden in the keys that you hold listen this is a very ancient secret that god taught me stay stay on my word don't just be educated in terms of knowledge that pops up learn it i remember when i found the law of encounter wow this is the law that controls the power of god i remember when i found the law of honor it blew my mind the master key there are I will, ah, why did i go ahead of myself because i will show you that there are master keys when you don't find some keys you can use some keys to find the ones you are missing yes sir they are called master keys master keys master keys you find these keys and sometimes the door that will open is the door that your child's life depends on it's not every door that relates to you directly some doors are the keys that will feed your family some doors are the keys that will preserve you this is what god gave joseph he said joseph take this let me tell you this look at me those of us waiting for god to just bring physical things to bless you i like you to be matured and think like a believer thank god for miracle a lot but if that's all you are waiting for you are not thinking well 
this is it i commend you i look he's he's teaching you he's saying look stop wasting your time i hand you over to god and to the word of his grace number one it is able to build you so that you are stable immovable unshakable then number two you will find keys here and you will pick them up you will get to some of these doors and find people who were standing there before you were born they are still there standing at those doors and knocking and knocking and here you come from nowhere that's how you show forth his praises because many of them will be saying this door cannot open we've been at this door from 1951 and here comes oh warm jacob empowered by light and you turn it it may be an old door but you swing it open a time will come when they notice that you have mastered the art of opening doors then gentiles will come to your light you will no longer look for them listen this is the cure for complex this is the cure for complex no amount of good clothes good hair good anything can give you what this will give you the real secret of confidence is the holy spirit living in you and the dexterity of the spiritual knowledge that you hold they may persecute you but let's get to a door keep talking while we get to a door keep bragging while we get to a door keep making noise while we get to keep mocking god let us just get to a door every mockery ends when you stand before a door because only a key opens that door some of you are giving diligence to what you are doing now and you may not know what you are doing listen to me my brothers and my sisters people may laugh at you and mock at you you've been in koinonia for five years you have nothing to show no job no husband no money no no ministry no business no nothing and sometimes you feel guilty you have the keys you have just not reached the door and so you continue moving and then one day when you open that door when god is ready to announce you he can fast track 10 years of your life by keeping you on stage and you say son turn the key that opens the door to the anointing and on that day those who knew you will say from whence did this come and you say i found a key god gave me a key from that one meeting you may never rest again with the open doors that come open doors are only open because of the keys that open them they that walked in darkness it says arise from the depression lack of light can bring real depression not just medical depression a state where nothing works in a man's life but many of us ignore the keys and we're chasing shadows if only my uncle gave me five thousand I will never beg again if only um i wear a nice cloth they will think if only i do this and that and god says look 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 you may be in that one room but carry keys keys koinonia this is what god is going to be doing these seven days keys some of you threw some keys you had and god is going to be bringing you restoration more than restoration of a property or restoration of a this and that this is the real restoration the keys of the kingdom let me tell you fear a man who has held this there is no power there is no enchantment there is no devil that would throw such a one you keep watching that man your eyes will only keep going higher because of the power of this There are families that do not have even one key. They are not born again. Listen to me. From traditional worship, this is where they stand. Father does not have a key. Mother does not have a key. Sister does not have a key. There are some of you, you want to get into ministry, no key. I'm called. I'm anointed. They poured oil 
lie on my head but were keys given to you you just get up and your first assignment requires 10 keys and you stand there stupefied with no keys you are not ready for life when you do not have keys no matter how you think you are ready listen while we prepare to start tomorrow you are going to have to cry which key don't i have be honest and be sincere tonight's meeting is a charge have i found the key to the grace of god have i found the key to the favor of god have i found the key hallelujah you can hear like like Ima was sharing there was a key that he found so when trouble came they would have killed that person for nothing and he engaged that key don't wait until they give you a report before you start checking and then you say ah i don't have the key is someone challenged tonight brothers learn this key life is harsh let me tell you sincerely i don't mean to discourage you what gives ease to life is the keys that you hold what betides a man that steps into life not holding any key and i will give you the keys of the kingdom i search for these keys and i continue to search for them and when you find them they are life to those who find them they are life to those who find them you need diligence you need diligence my brothers and my sisters who are going to pray you need diligence the keys are not just at plain sight sometimes you may need to search and search and search and search and search and lie down there there are times that the holy spirit will have to be the one to come and say look turn your eyes look there that's the key some of these keys cannot be found by the eyes of men it will take the holy spirit to open your eyes for this cause i bow my knees ephesians chapter 1 please give it to us and verse 17 he's praying for the church ephesians chapter 1 that the god of our lord jesus christ paul is praying the father of glory may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened some versions say being flooded with light that you may know that you may know that you may know that's the key that you may know because what you do not know will keep you where you are forever you would think that life will just move you forward automatically you will never move forward automatically not in ministry not in career whatever it is even if there are attacks there is what you will need to know for your victory victory will not just come if it would just come like that some of our loved ones would have been free step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days step by step you lead me and i will follow you as i travel for meetings and i see the wonder working power of spiritual knowledge and the anointing of the holy spirit i am grateful to god but sometimes i ask the question what if i didn't have the key do you know someone will die if you don't get this key and that someone may be you it may not always be someone around you arise shine arise shine give god glory john chapter 1 and verse 6 the bible says there was a man sent from god his name was john 
it says the same came for a witness verse 7 that he came to bear witness to the truth are we together now and that all men might through his witness believe all men might through that witness believe there are people who will never believe in jesus until they see your light i've been preparing myself for these seven days lord what do i not know thank god for what i know but i need the one that i do not know if you have 30 over 100 you got 30 but you failed you didn't get zero but you didn't get enough to pass so ignore the 30 and focus on the 70. even if you have 80 over 100 you see in this kingdom it is what the 10 sometimes the one key you don't have can rubbish all the other keys that you have one key hezekiah was at the point of death chapter 38 of isaiah the word of the lord came to isaiah the son of amos go and tell hezekiah to put his house in order he will not recover from the sickness a real prophet and hezekiah said man of god i honor you i obey you you can go and he turned his face where you know what to do you can listen to people and say i've heard you may god bless you when you close the door you pick your keys where is it where is it where is it there is a name ah blind Bartimaeus. he had been trying many things but not the key people will pass and you say help me wicked people he didn't open the door one day he learned about the mercy of god and he said come now let that opportunity come as soon as jesus was passing jericho for the last time he no longer said help me he said thou son of david have mercy the moment jesus had that mercy he said, ah the cross the cross mercy because when you call mercy, Jesus must stand. Mercy. What should I do for you that I might see? And that was it. That man would have died there. Thou son of David. Do you know when to call him Jesus and when to call him the son of David? Do you know what occasion necessitates? Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want to walk in exact knowledge. I want to walk in knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Worthy, worthy is the lamb that was slain and he has redeemed them, us now, unto God. He says, I, I beheld and I saw a lamb that had been slain. Weep not, he said, for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is worthy, qualified to open the book and unlock the scroll it says and when i looked i saw a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes the spirit of god providing for perfect revelation seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes apostle when will i rise the day the light to lift you comes will i rise in august if you want to will i rise this april if you want to will i rise in may if you want to the choice is yours your addiction to his light is what culminates to your rising please hear me as i preach to you time will never change anything it will take light the entrance of thy word give it light not just knowledge light and then understanding to the simple hallelujah something happened to me today that almost brought tears and i said god how many people may never 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 be able to experience certain dimensions of your hand simply because of this light that they do not know do you know many times when i'm praying truly speaking i think in the last one month my prayer life now i don't even know what to say again 
many times i just kneel down and tears just come out of my eyes thank you thank you for knowledge thank you for knowledge thank you for knowledge thank you for taking away ignorance you for taking away ignorance separating me from darkness it's the power of God is someone willing to pray tonight Lord I'm tired of where I am I don't want to lie to myself again I'm tired of this realm there is a dimension in God that he seeks to bring me this can't be it God is so much bigger than this. Oh, this can't be it. God is so much bigger than this. One more time. This can be for you. God is so much listen was it not ignorance that caused Cain if Cain knew how to do it well he would have gotten it Cain did it but he did it wrongly God is no respecter of persons but he will respect his ordinances forever there is something we do not know the Bible says the Lord is nigh them that call upon him until you have a broken and a contrite heart say Lord I've seen this and I thank you but open my eyes in this area is someone desperate to cry tonight open my eyes open my eyes open my eyes open my eyes chapter 3 and verse 4 please give us an amplified it's a popular scripture here you know it let's start from verse 3 Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4 it says God coming from Teman you know and the Holy One from Mount Paran it says and his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise verse 4 very powerful scripture it says and his brightness was like the sunlight rays streamed from his hand and there in that light was the hiding place of his power god's power is hidden in his light remember the teaching last week his divine power has given us all things but that divine power comes at the instance of the light so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge the greater your knowledge the greater your exact spiritual illumination that is the depth and the dimension of power that you will command the bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness you can call darkness light for many years please open your mouth and cry and say lord damage darkness from my life drive it far from my life drive it far from my life Take away darkness from my life. Take away darkness, oh God, from my life. What are you telling? 
open to us. Listen, open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. What are you turning to? What are you turning to? That's a prayer now. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no
Please challenge your destiny. We are praying. Enough is enough. It's time to rise. It's time to rise with a testimony that everyone will know that this is the finger of God. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you. It's in you, Lord. I know there's more that's found in you. Fasting is ushering into a new season because of the light that is coming and because of what you will do with it. Your heart must be prepared to receive it. Listen, just one spiritual law that is well understood can turn your life around. A law of God will turn your life around. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I have seen what will happen in these days. It says when the Lord turn again, turn again. Some of you are not just shifting. It's a complete turnaround. Complete turnaround. Complete turnaround. You will know the door that this mystery should open. You will know it. One door opens you up. Another door opens you up. Another door opens you up. Then you pray with understanding. Not just careless prayer without light. It says, Turn again our captivity like the strings of the nether. Turn again our captivity. I agree that it will be a moment of sacrifice. I agree that we are going to be praying and fasting. But watch what happens to your eyes while you fast. Except scripture is not true. It says, then shall your light break forth. You have been looking, but now you will see that this is it. I've heard about it with the hearing of my ears, but now my eyes have seen it. Now my eyes will see it. Now my eyes will see. Now my eyes will see. And I will walk in it. 
it will no longer be miracle and art. One moment after another, but you enter into a dimension called the worldly place. It will no longer be one demonstration of the Holy Spirit as told by death work, but you enter into a realm of mastery. Mastery. God is damaging ignorance, transiting you from being general and putting you in a spectacular position that everyone that sees you will know that you are called by the name of God. It may not look like it, but my brothers and sisters, don't forget that this is God we are talking about. God is changing every in my life. So when the moon looks just like it, he won't stop. Oh, he won't stop till I lie inside you. God is doing Listen, listen to me. I like you to cause the spirit of destruction. Destruction is a wicked spirit. You will listen to every other thing but the word that will lift you. He said he sends out his word. The word is a messenger. It will be coming to people. A buffet of big mysteries in the kingdom. Lift your voice and cause destruction. in the Bible that can fight the world. One of it is called the traditions of men. It says you have made the world of none effect through the tradition. Tradition. You don't have the flexibility to adjust. This is always how I've been taught. This is how I know it. The Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. Lord, do something to my wine skin that will give way so that a new wine skin will come. Lift your voice and pray. I'm tired of the old wine skin. I've exhausted the results that come with the old wine skin. Are you praying? New wine. New wine. New wine. In my wine skin. New wine. Number two, unbelief. They had the word just like it says, there remained a rest for the people of God. It says, in that day, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Unbelief. 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 You hear the word of God and all kinds of contemplations begin to come. Give us Romans chapter 4 please. Romans chapter 4. We are praying. We are preparing our hearts for tomorrow. Romans chapter 4. Let's study Father Abraham in one minute. And learn from him the principles that make for true faith. Abraham... From verse... 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations you are going to be hearing things like this but the bible says before whom he believed even god who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were 18 18 who against hope some of you are going to have to believe and hope against hope because the things God will tell you to, to
to do all the things god will tell you will come back to life are already dead and have been long dead and yet god will tell you they will come back to life he believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according as that which was spoken next verse 19 he says and not being weak in faith he considered not this is not a week to start considering okay now that prophecy is coming that this will happen let me calculate if only my uncle called me no that one is not faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb next verse he staggered not you believe now and then as soon as you share the grace you are just with someone and he says oh boy we only said amen no even me god knows i don't believe it you are staggering vacillations of your convictions you believe this today and by tomorrow you change but was strong in faith giving glory to god lord i challenge unbelief as a spirit every word that is coming from you i i i i obtain the faith to receive it lift your voice and those outside please pray those online pray i receive the faith number three pride pride the bible says and receive with meekness the engrafted word there is a spiritual quality required to receive meekness pride can destroy pride can destroy you're going to pray and say lord my heart is open to learn i receive the heart of a student in this school of the spirit Teach me. I'm not too proud to learn. Teach me. Lift your voice and pray. let me tell you this there are some of you please give me this cup there are some of you this is what you plan to bring for the prayer and fasting a small cup like this lord i know you you are like the man with one talent you are a hard man i know you you are not a giver you don't have the hearts to lavishly give so i brought a small cup to receive he will fill the cup there are other people who will bring a drum and say lord i know you can feel it there are other people who will buy a host and hang it and say lord i'm plugging it from you to me not even a drum like plugging it to god and plugging it to myself and let everything that can flow flow even in the good soil it gave three kinds of results 30 fold 60 fold 100 fold it is not the sower it is the heart that the seed fell on lord it must be 100 fold this time around it must be 100 fold i will not be blessed on day three day five and day six i will be blessed from day one to the last day shout just one more time 
Now listen, you have shouted, but listen. This is one shout that will begin to bring breakthroughs for people. There are a few people right away, even before I discuss. Listen, listen. There are a few people, as you shout this shout, it is an effulgence of fire that will come upon you. This is, this is the first type of the miraculous that will happen inside and outside everywhere because the power of God is there. It's not just a foolish shout. I tell you, the power of God is strong. Tonight is a night of visitation. I've not even thought. Are you ready for that shout? Goodness. Father, thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit to heal, to deliver, to set free. There will be a separation. At the count of three, I want you to shout, to heal is the name in the spirit. And as you shout, please ushers, let's have those people right away. Are you ready now? One. Two. Three. Shake a pokoto, rekete lekepa, soko tokoto, embro tokopo, rekete rekata, moko poso pai, sepeke te 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 ta. Let there be a separation from this shout, Holy Ghost. Shake te 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 te, embro to sekete. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. This shout of victory. This shout of victory. Shout of power. Shout of praise. Bring them out. Bring them out. of your people thank you for this presence there is nothing we can do without your presence that mighty presence of the Holy Spirit responsible for signs wonders breakthroughs You have gathered your people and you will visit us tonight. Hallelujah. In the next five minutes, we are going to be praying in tongues all over this place. And I tell you, chains will just be breaking. It's already happening at the back. This road, this very road, the power of God is setting people free. This road. 
Whatever has held you bound must let you go tonight. Must let you go tonight. We insist in the spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever you came here with must let you go tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, Lord, you will visit your people. This is the pool of Bethesda tonight. The pool of Bethesda. The pool of Bethesda. There is a stirring. I know when something has been stirred in the spirit. I know when there is a stirring. I tell you, there is a mighty stirring. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. has just disappeared a lady has been healed right now right now check yourself a lump in the breast i don't mean reduced it has just disappeared just like that 
Alléluia. 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 There were things I planned to do, but right now, something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you as you shout that name, we will invoke his presence. There will be a mighty deliverance. Mighty deliverance everywhere, inside and outside. At the count of three, listen. Goodness. At the count of three, you're going to shout that name. Many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions. But as you shout that name, the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One. Two. Get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three. I command devils. Come out. Come out. Yokes be broken. Yokes be broken. Yokes be broken. Yokes be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities. Activities of witchcraft by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside. Outside. In the name of Jesus. Everyone under the influence of every power that is not of God. I command those demons. Go. 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 I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Rekete ba 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 ba. I give the chains. I give the chains falling. Lord, I give. Falling. I give the chains. I give the chains falling. Break chains, break. That's the command in the spirit. Break chains, break. It must leave you tonight. Break chains. Hallelujah. Straight up, God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not, wickedness is real it has tied down many of us even maritally especially our families hallelujah you're going to shout that name jesus one more time and as you shout that name anyone under the sound of my voice whether you or your family members you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life but tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. Lift your hands. Goodness. I see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now. At the count of three, 
with the clash of the cymbal alone. One, two, three. Now I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Powers, powers of darkness. Spirit husband, spirit wife. I cast you. I cast you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cast you. Bring them out. I cast you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their marriages. Every spirit that you have been covenanted to that is stopping you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hey. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now, it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. The sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry lift your hands my god i thank you for the fire of the holy ghost when i count three shout that name that power must let you go that power must let you go i come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of jesus hear my sound in the realm of the spirit that at the count of three let God's people go. One, two, three. Let them go. I command the release. Exodus. Exodus. From this land of delay. Exodus. I prophesy. I decree. I declare. Establish it. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cops but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people it's still an aspect of deliverance at the count of three this will happen thank you my god one two three let the angels move right now let there be a movement a stirring a stirring a stirring a separation a stirring by the power the fire the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it up, break it up, bring them out. I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the, I hear the chains falling. I 
there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel. I give the chains for him. Gabriel. I give the chains for him. I give the chains for him. Bring this lady. Chains break. Chains. Let her go now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at this lady has been tied down. Hallelujah. This is the cause of hardship on her family. There's nothing that they do that will succeed. It doesn't matter what happens. But right now, I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm. Go. Go right now. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. The same thing is happening to that lady. Let her go now. Let her go. One or shall lay your hands on her. Both of them, both of them. Go. Go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Go. Pray. Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here, God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, I instruct you to let God's people go. At the count of three, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Chains falling. Hey. Hey. I hear the, the chains, chains falling. Come. Just leave her, she will come. I hear the chain. I hear the chain falling. I hear How can a lady do this? Chains. Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Uh, you just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest pain around the chest region hallelujah lay your hands there right now ulcer peptic ulcer chains leave her she will come Right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, 
listen a number of you are going to feel something just leave you when that happens to you please run and come out here and you will literally feel something leaving you when that happens let's have those people here hallelujah thank you jesus lay one hand and lift one hand up and let me pray for you thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus just help me with the symbol right now in the name of jesus be healed be healed whatever is holding you peptic ulcer be healed i command that spirit out of them now out of them now out of them now that spirit leave them now be healed be healed by the power of the holy ghost be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus now check yourselves check yourselves do what you couldn't do hallelujah i'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap just this kneecap very severe pain in fact it even affects you sometimes when you are walking where which of them how long has it been okay lay your hands there both of you pastor right you're a pastor okay no I, I, lay your hands that devil is a liar look at me what's wrong with you huh? I've been having this knee problem the bone is very tiny the bone is tiny and the load is heavy and the load is heavy on it I even felt hold my hands destroyed. it's okay bone grow in the name of Jesus grow I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you, please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain. Any pain, yeah. Just no, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain, any pain. Don't pretend it. Don't worry, God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm seeing money. But it's tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is bringing financial restoration. Lord let it be. I stretch my hands. By the force of the holy ghost using him as a point of contact in the name that is above all names let there be breakthroughs in the name of jesus god bless you god bless you victoria victoria i'm hearing the name victoria please if i call your name or your case just hurry up we have a lot to do so that we can victoria There are two victorias outside there are two victorias that are supposed to come outside where are you coming from outside here yeah? victoria there's one more victoria outside both of you are outside the lord will visit you how are you my dear are you married you know why do you know why 
That's one of the reasons why you came here, Abby. Yes, Is that not so? Yes, you were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, Have sir. Have we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Now. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he was, it looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he sir. just gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. Is that not? Even now, even now pain, you are yes. feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. And you have, sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. Do hit yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014, I lay my hands upon you and I release you to your marital destiny. Break, break. Come, my dear. Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, she stand there, look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free in the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a harbor list. Listen. They took you to a herbalist and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please, it's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please, this is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please, we need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father sickness will never return to the mother i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ come victoria look at me may god visit your family please this person i've spoken about please make sure you come out don't don't be embarrassed there's nothing to be embarrassed about they took you to a herbalist. They gave you something. One kind of... You are the one? Is he the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait. Stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. 
Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, me, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams and he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now and you'll be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting and ordinance. Right now. Be free. Everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely. Part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings, but I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? You need to be very, very serious with God. Welcome home. God loves you. And he wants to transform your life. Huh? But for now, you'll be delivered. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I curse this spirit. Leave her now. I see you in the realm of the spirit. And it's time for you to go. Take away this devilish thing you are put in her life. Right now. Out. I hear the chains falling. You are not standing in for yourself but for your elder sister God wants to visit her lay your hands on your stomach because what is happening to her will happen to you Lord I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body even right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I need to break the spirit of loss from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. 
your time of visitation has come that devil that oppresses you just keep flowing strings please just play something for Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yes. You will be delivered. Yes. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the lord will correct it my brother the lord bless you you're born again you love jesus yes, sir. just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life Father, by your mercy, in the name of Jesus, go! That's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her! Now! Out of her! That devil of darkness. I command financial restoration for you. Where are the children? Both of you. You love God. You are going to teach the word. You. Huh? This boy, he's going to love God and he's going to... You know this now. God has already told you. Yes, he has been... God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He, he has, has been, been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible. And the Lord says he will teach the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding. Come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding. To understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ you love God but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment you will not join bad people you want to be successful but what God does not give you you cannot get huh? because there are bad people around your life you are a good person but there are all kinds of bad people and we must pray huh? lay your hands on your chest there's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus, go and return with your testimony. Where's the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka, bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come and come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen. I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, is not car, is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration. Hallelujah. 
How many universities? Come, you are come. Are you not the one who brought him? How many universities? Same university. They've they've driven him twice. Twice. You think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice? UNN, right? Nsuka. Yes, sir. God will deliver him. Amen. Come, my brother. It's not it's not like you are lazy. Huh? It's not like you are lazy. Because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth. And you cannot even articulate. It's, like, it's as if you are manipulated. God is going to set you free. You believe this? Yes. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I trust you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now. And you'll be free. Let him go. Now. Lord restore to him. The years that the canker worm has eaten. Restore to him. The years that the palmer worm has eaten. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restore to him. Restore to him. Let him rise up a brand new person. I worship you. Hallelujah. If there's any case of barrenness here, whether for yourself or for your loved ones, please come out here. If you're married and you're experiencing barrenness, let them stand in the front. If you're standing here for yourself, Please don't just be emotional. We are not joking here. This is very serious business. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something. And don't please don't find it offensive. Every case of barrenness is demonic. What did I say? Every. every I don't care what the doctors say. Whether they say there is a womb or no womb. The, the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person but i'm telling you it must be resolved spiritually hallelujah please keep playing you're tired play the strings ladies and gentlemen see the number of people standing for loved ones how many of you are standing in for yourself for your sister just look at me. Look at me. She's going to be delivered right now. Where she is. from. You. Don't worry. Just look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. You are feeling something coming up on you. Right now. Let her go. Now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Whether they say fibroid or no womb. It's irrelevant. I'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue. But when God steps in, you won't go back. You can't go back to the way it used to be. Before His presence came and changed me. Just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up. Madam, come let me pray for you. Look at me. How many years? And then he stopped. We are going to pray. Look at me. This is a family thing. Hold on. Because it's not only you. Who else? My junior sister. Your junior sister has the same thing. She has never had a child. That's to tell you this is a spirit. But as God sets you free, he will set her free too. Onegi kagi ekele diwigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele diwigi lay your hands on your stomach onye na oria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child onye ne mema father in the name of Jesus onye di kagi and open up your womb to receive okay, a baby boy, okay, you will come back with a baby boy. Okay, Lift your hands and 
lift your hands I'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released you are standing as a point of contact my God I pray that from my left to my right in the name of Jesus let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three one two three right now wombs be open wombs be open take it take it take it take it miracle children take it for your loved ones take it take it from the realm of the spirit whoever you are standing in for i command all medical complications go all medical complications go i cause fibroid i cause every cyst in the name of jesus all those who do not have wombs we put brand new wombs now brand new wombs in the name of jesus the fire of the holy ghost is burning a lot of things burning a lot of chaff every spirit of miscarriage I curse it right now I curse it right now I curse it right now the spirit of miscarriage every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb I arrest you you are bound you remain bound hallelujah I prophesy to every one of you here make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them that in the name that is above all names they will not only take in they will give birth like the Hebrew women we forbid CS in the name of Jesus they will give birth normally no devil will eat up any child there will be no miscarriage and for those who have stayed a long time we command twins we command triplets let there be a restoration i provoke it by the hand of god please don't think we're just entertaining prophecy does not just reveal it creates it creates it creates i tell you a lot of things are happening pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman Mary said be it unto me we put miracle children in their wombs right now from the realm of the spirit hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere hallelujah now very quickly if you came here specifically for healing i want to minister to the sick right now specifically for healing or you brought someone sick now is your time please quickly ushers coordinate them so that they will line up very well you came here with any infirmity please If you brought someone now is the time to bring them out the worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil no matter how far you are wherever you are please find your way to the front you came here for healing it's called a miracle service it's not just a name please i need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas there are people who your own is not sickness your own is breakthrough
please just line up those under the anointing just leave them there is a pool some of you as you are standing here right now the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister now we are going to do it very fast hallelujah Listen, it doesn't matter what your sickness is, right? The anointing is not just the ability to heal. It's the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem. Are you getting my point? So while you are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I'm not going back the same. I'm tired. This is it. This is it. Worship team leaders, Bishop, please come help me. Pastor Williams, hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you have not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus. What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Change this lady's genotype right now, baby. Let SS change to AA right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus. There is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus. Hold on, please. Your son too is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus and we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. Healing in your name. Jesus. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. And God is a 
walker. Out of her now. And God is out. Come out. A glory out of her now. God. Out of her now. That devil of darkness. God is Be healed now. Out of her. A spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now. Oh, 
say you are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all to the wage. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. Joy of the whole world. I think you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful situation. Hey, you are the joy of the whole world. Hey, you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful all situation. You are the joy of the whole world, and you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, Lord, beautiful of all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. The great and mighty God. Go out of her now. So greatly out of her. Be praised. Out. Beautiful. You want to join be healed right now. I change that medical result. Email, email, oh, Kaka, oh, somebody a lady outside there is one lady the power of God will come mightily upon her please bring her in I need to speak to her the power of God will come very mightily on one lady very very mightily I can't remember why I called you people honestly let me pray for you Father, where 
where's your father is in this meeting where is he i need to talk to him you are the best eh? he's not around i mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not okay i thought he was around i need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what i'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered father confirm your word i give you praise Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um... I'm not going to ask you to come out but I hope that they came out here we want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases because if we do not help God's people medically is incurable HIV hepatitis all these satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be so please stand up everybody stand up please please rise up everybody We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it and in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed please connect with them even as we pray right now hallelujah father i pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but i thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands anyone with hiv in this place i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus christ hiv be healed in the name of jesus cancer be healed in the name of jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place i cause it to its root in the name of jesus christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of jesus hallelujah for blood groups who are going to deal with that one when i minister prophetically Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families with uncompleted building projects please find your way quickly and just stand here the lord wants to minister just one word i will speak i want you to believe i'm not saying you want to build a house please the power of god is touching people and changing uncompleted projects uncompleted projects please believe what i'm saying i'm not just playing pranks here as you're standing here the Lord is going to set people free okay if, if there's no space just stand where you are and then I'll pray for you lift your hands everybody it will surprise you the Bible says how that the hand of God came lift your hands 
hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran the Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel I want to pray we are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me specifically for building projects some of them are tied down because of finance some of them are tied down because of court issues some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir or Gaza God is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft God is going to set you free are you getting what I'm saying lift your hands please my God I pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles I want you to believe many of you are going to feel literally like fire it will come on your right hand it will come on your right hand in a very powerful way all across here right now the angel of the Lord will move right now right now father in the name of Jesus move right now everything stopping any uncompleted project your right hand the power of God is a prophetic language the right hand of God is power and by that power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of Jesus be completed now in the name of Jesus every power stopping any building project I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus every lack of finance responsible I command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of God the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in Jesus name God bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the Lord is ministering to me Mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the Lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation God is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if, you, if this is if you are part of these people I have mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is, is, is one of the people and she will be delivered right now no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as I pray the power of God will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody Please stand up everybody. Bala, you're just going to clash the symbol for me. I'm going to pray. Because this is a very demonic thing. The Lord is ministering to me. This is the deliverance of someone right now. A snake or a, or a dog, an animal beats you in the dream. It didn't create any effect but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness I see a pruning fork an angel of the Lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father 
right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out jump out and go one two three go 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 out of them out of them some people in the congregation it will touch you there too out of them every foul spirit I'm going to lay my hands on everybody out of them 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 please help them devil of darkness out of them out of them come out come out everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation Hey, hey. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh dear oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Out. Come out. Out. Go, go, go. Every devil, remove every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go. Release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. go now let her go by the fire of the holy ghost take off everything take your property pack your lord on your back get set go 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 Out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. I break covenants. I break yokes. Every act of witchcraft. I plead the blood and I set you free. Now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. This is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness some of these people what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness immorality and we come and preach in church we say stop it it can't be stopped till that devil gives way 
Bring this lady for me. Let her go now. Once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet, on her hands. Remove it and pack your load and go. 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 You should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. Oh. This is our own usher. Go! Go! I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit that is tormenting this lady. The Lord is showing me. This thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing me. It has nothing to do with her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's save time. Have you submitted this? Father, let none of these people return with any influence. It must let them go. It must let them go. Hallelujah. So you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting. This child is not good. You think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around? Brothers and sisters, there are influences and it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of God can enter the reality of their inheritance. That's why you see people who keep testifying. Oh, breakthrough just started happening in my family. You may not know what has been limiting them. That's why here we don't just heal the sick. I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems. Any kind of problem. It's not just healing. It's not just wheelchairs. There are destinies that are tied down. And they need the power of God. You will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight, doors will just be opening. You will see how easy it is. And then you will know that something happened to you. It doesn't matter whether you came out here or not. Once you are under the influence of this sound, something is happening to you. Hallelujah. I want to pray on this request right now. Hallelujah. Many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here. Please, if anyone has not submitted your request, do that very fast. As we pray on these requests, I don't care what you wrote here. May this be the last time you will see it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every Pharaoh and every Egypt that you wrote and dropped here, as surely as the Lord God lives, this will be the very last time. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop, come please, Pastor Williams, come as we pray on the request. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Visitation, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. 
visit your people. Je prega de balararabash. Onye. Se que te que te ba 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 ba. Ora kata balararabash. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online. They should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Onye. 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 Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came you came from another place what i mean minister make sure you're a preacher minister of the gospel you're a ministry and you came from outside of this state please come out i want to minister to you right now hallelujah is there anyone like that please quickly quickly let's save time just come and line up here the Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money. Or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air has no nothing to do with that hallelujah ministry with integrity with the fear of the lord that who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant i want to pray for you that god will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned. Please stand up everybody. 
this is the moment I want you to shout amen we're about to open doors breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah wherever you can hear my voice make sure that you shout a big amen please lift your hands the Bible says believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper this is not the doing of any man what you see is an election of grace when God calls people he empowers them there are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story hallelujah and I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life this is the part you get to receive lift your hands hallelujah Can you play the keyboard, Mike, please? Please lift your hands. I want you to shout Amen with everything that you have. Lift up your heads. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus, we shatter that gate into pieces. I shatter it into pieces, into pieces. I command gates, gates, gates. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Gates, I command, Ephata, be open, be open, be open, be open. Gates of marriages, gates of restoration, be open. Anyone trusting God for a job here, in the name that is above all names, I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us may they find you may they help you may they honor you for every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name I command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of God go to every faculty every department we command change any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever plan evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us. Let the sword of judgment. Whoever said your family will not lift up their heads. May my God judge them. May my God judge them. Hallelujah. Every ordinance of darkness every enchantment every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwritings we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here 
who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration I prophesy I decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return i want to prophesy to you just like the hair of samson grew back i call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline i call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times may he change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the symbol and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you every gift available for your enriching I command prayer fire take it now take it now prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire Reketetete e prokotoba mambrakata e koske e bandapa Reketetete reketetete e prokotoba I found the fire on your prayer altar it comes back alive I pray for you right now the Bible says because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with the oil of gladness 
and that oil sets you above your fellows the anointing for distinguishing take it now take it now take it now take it now everywhere you go be set apart be distinguished take it now hallelujah hallelujah and the bible says esther went to a man called Haggai, the one who took care of the virgins of the king and he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year and she passed the king once and he found favor i want to pray for you that anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now receive it now receive it now shake up baba sekete man protoskopa shotekete Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying and say, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born that out of the seven billion people in the earth you were born for a reason therefore my God let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of Jesus through dreams through visions through prophetic confirmations receive the mandate of your life receive the blueprint of your life hallelujah every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your christian experience i don't care what it is pornography masturbation anything that is compromising your christian experience right now i judge the spirits behind it i judge the spirits behind it and i command them to let you go be free be free be free be free from every habit be free hallelujah for those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again it's not like you're not serious you don't even know what has happened to you there's no zeal to study the word some of you are finding yourself you were once on fire in terms of your word life some of you would pray through the night some of you would study suddenly distractions happen i want to pray right now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest i prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place my god i pray let the wind the east wind that reawakens dead things that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now 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 now
Hallelujah. Listen to me. God wants to make the best out of your life. But you must be willing to yield yourself. There are two kinds of people in this place right now. There are those who have been taking these things of the spirit. Just playing around. You may be born again. But your life is so unpredictable. You're not serious. You know that you need to make it right. There are others who have never made this decision for Jesus. You go to church. You have a Christian name. Hallelujah. And there are others who are backslidden completely. And they need to be restored. As I count one to five. Those three categories of people. Whether you've given your heart to the Lord. And you found yourself derailing. Or you are praying and saying, Lord, I want to be serious with you from today. Or you are saying, Lord, I'm surrendering everything. As I count one to five, please, I'd like you to run like your life depends on it. God is waiting for you right here. One, please don't wait for anybody. Two, inside and outside. It doesn't matter what you have done. Run, run, run. I didn't say walk, run. Run like your life depends on it. Three, Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart Lord Jesus I repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you're saying I repent of my sins and I love you with all my heart forgive me today I make Jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the lord now look at me every one of you i congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and i want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow bishop stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the holy spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m prompt please 5 p.m prompt for now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you 
and they will have your information will pray for you and will follow you God bless you please follow them God bless you follow them very quickly hallelujah let's take the following announcements very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time this is your first time aside from those who are going out if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at koinonia we love you and we want to bless you please wherever you are just find your way to the front right now god bless you please find your way quickly quickly koinonia celebrate them this is not your best There are people who came all the way from Jos, all the way from Abuja, different parts. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Koinonia, the ministry put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate and we celebrate you. We meet every Friday. This is not our venue. Our venue is CGC. We had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there. So we'll be there from next week. We're back to our venue. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and just bless them. Pray for them. May the Lord bless you. We cause the heavens to be open over you. We bless you with hunger for spiritual things. In the name that is above all names. May you experience the hand of God in dramatic ways. You will understand the intimacy of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again for coming. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back. Thank you so much. Koinonia, celebrate them very quickly. God bless you. Thank you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.